comes up. Comes um, up. Typically, before I preach the word, I have my, my daughter, Sheree Russell. She usually prays dances, but she is in a place where she can. And when I got the phone call from Duke Ronald about today, on behalf of Miss Lisa Renee, um, that's the song that I was listening to. And the funny thing about it is last week I asked um, Deacon Ronald what they were doing for, and please forgive me, for Lisa, because the Holy Spirit told me that she also needs a break. Amen. Amen. She also needs somebody to minister to her soul, mm -hmm. to her spirit. Yes. And we need prayer warriors. We need prayer partners. We need individuals that will stand in the gap and stand in proxy for us and Amen. intercede on behalf of the shortcomings and the tears that we're crying. And um, I Amen. asked Ronald a question, and I didn't hear anything throughout the week, but the Holy Spirit had me um, study it anyway. Amen. And he gave me what to say and what to come out of Psalms 139. And he said that. Um, <laughs> I gotta let you know, I need you to remind her that I know her name. Come on. Mm. I need the people to hear that I know their name. Yes. Yes. And um, the, the, the word that we're coming out of today is gonna be Psalm 139, 1 through 24, but the, the message is they don't know your name. Because see, if they knew your name, they wouldn't come against you in the way that they come against you. They would take a seat. They would sit it on down. They would take a time out if they really knew your name. If they knew the child of God that you really were, they would sit down. And so, I, I, I want to say this really quickly before I get started. Lisa, regardless of the language, Lisa meaning is spiritual. The name said to me, oath from God. Devoted to God. Bountiful. The Hebrew meaning is derived from the name Elishma, which also is the lily flower. <laughs> Renee is the French form of the Latin Roman name Renetus, and the meaning is reborn, or to be born again. So, what you're looking at when she says she is a living miracle. Who knows what that really means? Do each one of you know that you are a living miracle on today? See, they went into overtime trying to make you think that you were somebody else. But God says, I know your name. Everything that they tried to take from you, everything that they tried to put on you. I remember when I got jumped by some females and they cut my face up with a razor blade and they was trying to slice my neck up. But they was like, you ain't gonna never look the same. But can you tell? Can you see? Do you see? I went in the house and, you know, at the time she had all this uh, aloe vera plant and all this stuff. So she broke Amen. that thing open. She brought, listen. Them little old school remedies. Listen, I came, in the house, I came in the house and my flesh was hanging. I'm not joking with y'all. All of it, it was hanging. Slits. I had cuts. And I was like, well, can we go to the doctor? She was like, no, you're going to come in here and sit down. My dad, they was in there cutting up. I'm going to tell you. So she cut the plant open and she took the witch hazel and it's burning. I'm like, are you crazy? <laughs> aloe vera plant and witch hazel. And prayer. Yes. It was by the power of God yes. that she did what she did. I had the flesh because they wanted me to be something else. They yes. thought I wasn't yes. going to make it. Yes. But God had another plan in my yes. How many of those have tried to take you out of the place yes. on which God yes. stands for you? Yes. If God be for you, who can be against you? Yes. Man be yourself. Because each one of us in here is our own worst enemy at times. Yes. And you got to know that. All right. Stop looking at the people on this side and that side and behind you. Yes. Self-examination. So I'm going to come from Psalms 139. If you can stand, if you're able to stand to your feet. And, and, and this is the, the uh, omnipresence, the omniscience, the omnipotent of God. Do we understand that God is all-knowing? Yes. yes. Okay. He is all-knowing. He is all over at one time. Yes, he is. Oh Lord, you have searched me thoroughly and have known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. My entire life, everything I do. You understand my thoughts afar. You scrutinize my path and my lying down. And you are intimately acquainted with all my ways. Even before there was a word in my mouth and my tongue, still unspoken, behold, O oh Lord, you know it all. You have enclosed me behind and before, and you have placed your hand upon me. Amen. Such infinite knowledge is too wonderful for me. Is It is too high above, I cannot reach it. 
Where can I go from your spirit? Ooh, or where can I flee from your presence? Mm. If I ascend into the heavens, hallelujah, yeah, you yeah. are there. If I make my bed yeah, in Sheol, yeah. the I'm deepest there. part of the yeah. netherland, you are there. Yeah. Hallelujah, Jesus. If I take the wings of the dawn, mm -hmm. if I dwell in the remotest part of the sea, even there your hand will lead me, mm -hmm. and your right hand will take hold of me. Amen. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, and the night will be the only light around me. Even the darkness is not dark to you and conceals nothing from you, yes. but the night shines as bright as the day. Mm -hmm. Darkness Hallelujah. and light are alike to you. All right. Yes, now I need you to get this part. For you form my innermost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. Yes. <laughs> I will give thanks and praise to you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes. Wonderful are your works, and my soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being formed in secret. Ooh, and it truly and skillfully formed, as if in water with many colors. Yes. In the depths of the earth, your eyes have seen my unformed substance. And in your book were all written the days that were appointed for me. When as yet there was not one of them even taking shape. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O oh God. How vast is the sum of them. If I could count them, they would outnumber the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Oh, that you could kill the wicked, O oh God. Go away from me, therefore men of bloodshed, for they speak against you wickedly. Your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate those who hate you, O Lord? And do I not take load those who rise up against you? Come on, come on. I hate them with the perfect and utmost hatred. They have become my enemies. Yes, Lord. Search me thoroughly, O God, yes, Lord. and know my heart. Yes, Test Lord. me and yes, know my Lord. anxious thoughts. Yes, and see if there is any wicked or, wicked or hurtful thing in me. And lead me in the everlasting way. Amen. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Search me, Lord. All knowing, let's, 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 let's just understand that the, the, the word says, Oh Lord, you have searched me thoroughly and have known me. Do we not understand that God's eyes are upon the earth? Nothing can be hidden from God. Do we understand the genesis of it all when Adam and Eve did what they did and they went to hide and they really thought they was hiding? Mm -hmm. and, and God said, but why do you think Adam and Eve were hiding? Because the enemy caused them to be filled with trickery, with deception, with rebellion. Do we understand that rebellion is a form of witchcraft? See, we think witchcraft is just voodoo and curses and spells and hexes, black magic and all that. All right. But guess what? Your rebellion, your stubbornness, yeah. your pride, Come your on, arrogance, please. your vanity. That is against God. Yes, Pride, he, he hates it. Yes, he does. Yes, Lord. It is an abomination unto him. Yes, it does. But if we can understand, Proverbs 15, 3 said, The eyes of the Lord are in every place, watching the evil and the good in all their intercourse. So everything we do, God knows. Mm -hmm. Everything Lisa has poured into each one of you, God knows. God knows when she's dealing with strife. God knows when she has a struggle. See, what happens is, and I, I, I'm dealing with some of my people, and I'm going, how about us have patience? See, we get mad at everybody for what they're going through, and you got to add to that. But how about maybe their mind is messed up? Right. How about maybe they've been through some stuff that you don't understand, that you didn't even think of, because all you're thinking about is self. How about we be selfless and self-righteous? How about we get into a place where we let God do what he needs to do in us? Searching us, testing us, getting us into a right place with him so we can actually hear from him. Right, right, right. Because yeah. see, when we're moving too fast, we can't even understand that God is trying to tap you on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. If you bump your toe, don't be so quick to be like, oh, that thing yet. No, maybe God was trying to get your attention. Okay. And he tried to do it politely. He tried to do it. Okay. Okay. Oh, but that didn't catch your attention. You just kept on going. So then you knocked your elbow over and you're like, oh my gosh, my elbow. But you still didn't get it. He had to have your fall. But guess what? He caught you when you fell down. He allows your foot not to dash upon the stone because see, the enemy thought he had you. Because see, the enemy is the accuser of the brethren. He's going before the throne of grace on your behalf every day. Oh, she said she don't want to do that no more. She said she don't want to commit adultery. She said she don't want to lie. She said she don't want to deceive. She said she don't want to manipulate. 
be like, there she go again, God. There he go again, God. Oh, but God, God says, that is my child. I take her. I created her before I had to Understand who you are and who you are in Christ Jesus. Know that the enemy is working overtime to get into your mind. See, the mind is really a battlefield. Understand that how can two walk together unless they agree? Your mind and your heart go together. Because your heart devises a wickedness, but your mind is a little crazy. Lunatic spirit. You talk about everybody else, but what about you? You a little cuckoo too. Father, listen, I'm going to go ahead and walk away from you because mm. you and your baby mama, right, I'm going right. to be in jail in hell. <laughs> Both! Oh, <God. laughs> Before she's the pastor, before she's the evangelist, mm -hmm. before she's the teacher, before she's the apostle, the five-fold ministry, she is a child, child a woman, God. Yeah. Most yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. And on today, we're going to understand what God is trying to say to us. See, it says here, you know when I sit down and you know when I rise up. Mm -hmm. You understand my thoughts are far off, so he know that we're a little crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Okay? He know when you got that thought. And he said, Lord, I don't want to think like that. Because God, I, I want to be pleasing to you. But but, 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 but my flesh is, is, is right here. It's, it's on me. Isaiah 55, 8 and 9 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways are my ways, declares the Lord. For the heavens are higher than the earth. So are my ways higher than yours and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. That means that we gotta sit into the we gotta sit in the presence of the Lord and understand because the Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians says you are first natural, then spiritual. Uh -huh. So your human frailty uh -huh. is gonna pop up first and be like Toria, uh-huh, go get smack her. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> side and the angel on that side is absolutely real. Uh -huh. Which one you gonna choose? I just want to know which one Which one you gonna choose and I'm talking from experience. I'm not playing games with you. This family, I ain't got time for it. Me and my mom was on our way here and I was like, something about the family. We just, it's just, we got this spirit that just doesn't quit. We got this spirit that we gonna keep going. If you know, I said, I done seen my whole family be knocked all the way down and they still got up and they showed up and I was like, Bold, you know, they got that lime green on the day. Fluorescent <laughs> <laughs> yellow. Okay, but here we are. Hey, God said we are the light of the earth. Yes, okay, yes, we are the light of the earth. We are to be the light right in a dark okay, place. Water in a dry right. place. Oh, yeah. Life to a dead place. Uh, Talk to go. those dry bones. Yeah. Get up! Authority to tread on serpents and scorpions. Yes, we don't have to stay in that thing. I teach the individuals that I minister to. I be so excited. I'm like, Lord, and you talked about Job this morning at six o'clock on our prayer. I said, Do y'all know the story of Job? Y'all be complaining and fretting. And my mom's like, Fret not, because I, you know, I tell everybody. I'm like, She's like, Issa. I'm like, Listen, <laughs> is it really that bad? Right. Mm. Come on, come on, come on. I said, and I was crying and weeping this morning because I think about, you know, not even so much the passion of Christ, just reading the word of what Jesus went through. And I'm yeah, y'all, we yeah, we can complain about this and that and mm. this and that and this and that. How about if God has delivered you from whatever you went through, if you walk through that thing and it's behind you, why are you running over? I feel what people talk about. I got PTSD. What? What the world told you you had? That's demonic. We don't come in your name of Jesus. Generational curse. I got the lineage that this. God says, Oh, you have been adopted into a what royal priesthood. Yeah. You are made new yeah. in Christ yeah. Jesus. Yeah. So why are you holding on to what happened to you with this? Yeah. Oh, my daddy went through that. Oh, my mama went through this. So she got the 
depression. I dare not walk in depression. I dare walk, dare not walk in sickness and disease. Right. If it comes up on me, oh, guess what? I'm a living, walking miracle. I have a bleeding disorder called, what is it? Factor or something. Okay, so my blood levels are always like below two. They're supposed to be like 60 or 70. When I go to the doctor to get my son test, they're like, well, how we worry more worried about you. How are you walking? My son at the time said, Jesus. Hey. Uh -huh. Jesus. Yeah. And every time I go to the doctor, you know, I'm sweating up here. <laughs> Fine. It always brings tears to my eyes because how many of us listen to what the world tells Come us? Come on, mm -hmm. that part. That how part. many of us really pay attention? You need to tell them what that thing do to pay your body. Though. I was just telling my mom. I said, you know, we exhaust ourselves. <laughs> we have unnecessary conversations. We plan Ooh, that thing Jesus. over and over and over yeah. again in our mind. Oh, she said this. Oh, she said that. Oh, or you? And nicely, if you don't get. That's right, right now, I need you to go take a seat. Yeah. Okay, that's your yeah. opinion. It don't mean truth. So yeah. how about you go ahead and eat at that thing? Because I'm not. I'm not about to digest right. that. I'm not about to cut it up and eat it. Yeah. No, baby, this is not. This is not it. That's I need it. you to back up. You yeah. gotta. I need y'all to understand. Check yeah. your flesh. Yeah. Tell it to yeah. back up. Yeah. Sit yeah. it on down. Yeah. Put it on ice. Put yeah. it on fire. Yeah. Let God yeah. go ahead and burn yeah. that thing yeah. up. Yeah. Let him go yeah. ahead and purify yeah. you. It will purify you. He will yeah. sanctify yeah. you. He will permeate yeah. and penetrate yeah. you. Saturate you, his body, his oil, yes, his spirit Lord. will fall fresh on you yes, if you allow it, though. I'm gonna be honest yes. with you because if you don't, <laughs> again, how can two walk together unless they agree? Yes, mm -hmm. I gotta agree with you, I gotta accept it first. Yeah. I gotta yeah, first yeah. understand, and guess what? I'm gonna take that back because see, God says, and all that getting get understanding, but God also says, I'll give you peace which surpasses all understanding, because the one thing we need to understand is that we are not contr in control. God is. That's the true understanding. And he said it is so. Ain't nothing we can do about it. Somebody asked me the other day, they was talking about uh, COVID, and I was like, listen, I said, look, I'm not about to keep having this conversation with you. And if this time can expire, then I, I can't beat death. I, I, I'm not about to fight God. How can I fight God? What, 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 if God says time, it's then time. it's time. That's it. That's right. that's and that's it. And individuals that I deal with, because I work in, at, 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 you know, with the individuals at Kaiser, we deal with a lot of people, and actually um, a lot of people that I've worked with, about 20 individuals that I know, closely worked with, have passed away. So Northern Cal and Southern Cal from COVID. And um, a dear friend, her husband, died. And um, I was, it, it, it did something to me, because she's my age, and I'm like, Lord, I mean, that's pretty close. And um, I think about her three kids, and I think about her heart and her spirit and her soul, and I'm just like, what are the right words that you can say? There is nothing. But individuals, from the onset of COVID, I have said to individuals, if you come up against somebody who has it, what are you depositing in their spirit? What scriptures are you praying over them. Have you took taken them to Second Chronicles and tell them to repent for their sins? Come on, come on. Their yeah, 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 and then their yeah, yeah, yeah. will be healed. Because if you haven't done that, then wait a minute. Because like I said, the, 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 we got to understand being a minister of the gospel is not just being in school. Mm -hmm. It's spreading the good news. Yes, yeah. it is. Okay? You don't got to be a pastor to spread the good news. That's you it. don't got to be an evangelist to spread the good news. Yeah, well, God well. says, my well and faithful, what? Service. But see, if you don't come to serve and you always want to be served, oh, you're missing the mark. Because after you suffered for a little while, oh, then Jesus. you get the crown of glory. Oh, but baby, if you can't suffer for a little while, if you can't take the hit. Ah. For some reason, I have a high tolerance of pain. My mother's like, yeah, I don't know how you do it. And I used to get tattoos because they felt good. And what? And then when I start getting closer to God, I'm really not playing, y'all. Okay, I started getting closer to God, and I went to go get one covered up, and it hurt. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> what in the world have I been doing for the last 15 years? Because all these tattoos I had at first felt good. But Lord, you have delivered me from something, because now the pain that I once loved, 
Mm. I don't want it no more. See, how many of us are so comfortable mm. in where we are, where well, we live, and you're it. so afraid to let go? About how about it. let go, and how about trust God to bring you through? Because see, if God gives you the unction to let it go, it's because he got something better. You got to understand that, but see, God is not going to play to have a world with you. Mm -hmm. And God is never going to relinquish his throne. I need us to understand that. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah. could you imagine sitting in a chair? Let me, let me, let me see. Come on, move over. Mm. Did you see that? She right. probably wanted to move, right? right? That's us. When God is coming to try to sing with us, Jesus. trying to wow. commune with us, trying to spend time with us. We, Jesus. Well, and it's God. Mm. And God is going, well, can you make room for me? Mm. Uh, just a little bit for me? Oh, if you move an inch, he move an inch. Do we know the story about the prodigal son? Yes. When the son came back, was right. the father not yes. ready with open yes. arms? Yes. So yes. God is there for us when we need him, but we got to be willing. We have to accept. We have to agree. And all this time, you have a, a woman. On today, we are honoring her birthday, but I want to look at her as a walking, living truth. Because, see, by being her family, I do know some of the things that she struggled with. Because oh. half of the time, sometimes we struggle with the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That part. Because the enemy said, oh, I'm going to keep your family in bondage. Yeah. I'm going to keep you thinking this way. I'm going to keep you thinking that way. I'm going to think that you kind of, you got to deceive and manipulate well. and cut a corner. I tell individuals, I say, listen, I don't even want you lying on nothing. Time card fraud, mm. tax returns. I need you to tell the truth because you're, you're cursing yourself. When yeah. God wants to bless, you constantly yeah. cursing it. And God is going you in the way. <laughs> you in the way. Yeah, yeah, tell it. But see, if we could get in this place, look, I want us to understand. Ephesians 1 and 4 says, Just as in his love he chose us in Christ, actually selected us for himself as his own, yes. before the foundations of the world, so that we would be holy, that is, consecrated, set apart. So the people that you got pulled from, or got pulled from you, you're trying to hold on to them, and God trying to, you're like, can you just take a break for a moment? Yeah. How about we see how this thing work out? And maybe, just maybe, if I feel like it, because you know God, he could do whatever he wanted to do. You yes, know, the prophet yes, Isaiah yes. went and told Hezekiah he was going to die, and then Hezekiah got to praying, and then he said, well, God, God changed, had to take the ego out of the back and yeah, say, give yeah, him yeah. 15 more years because yeah, yeah. he cried out to me. So well, God yeah. can change the story yes, if he wants yeah. to. Anytime. But are you yeah, in a place yeah, to receive anytime. the shift mm -hmm. when he changes the story? Do Wait, you at here? Yes. Rewind. <laughs> what's she saying? Right, <laughs> what? Like Red? Are you ready for the shift? Are you willing to the take shift. the shift? The shift. The shift. Because I've been talking about, I, I've been, we've been talking about it day after day after day about the shift. God is doing some things, but I, I just told some people, I said, you know what? I, I'm looking at this list from 2015, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't pray until things come to pass, but your petition shouldn't be exactly the same. Right. There's no way right. that your petition, if you're really spending time with God, right. he's changing some stuff. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah, yeah, your petition, yeah. now yo, you might be praying for your family to continue, but there got to be something that is moving on your behalf. Right. Because God is the author and the finisher of our faith. He brings and moves. He chucks and does. Listen, we got to get in this place where we are in the receiving place. I, 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 I often tell people, receive, put your hand in receiving place. Because God wants to impart. Mm -hmm. But if you all full, how, what are you going to just, you too full. God said, I didn't come for those who know everything. Well, well, see, well, well, we understand. Well. But see, can we be well. humble enough? Yeah. Okay? To serve for a little while. Yeah, Can we be yeah, humble yeah, enough yeah. to read the word for yeah, a little while? Yeah, yeah, Can yeah, we yeah. be obedient enough if the if the pastor or the leaders call a fast, you really do the fast according to how they told you to, not how you want to. Well, well, well. Oh, I'm going to do a little bit of this. No, I ain't going to do it to this time. And I'm going to do it to, oh, they ain't going to know the difference. Guess what? God don't leave us in the dark, baby. He shows you what they not doing. Right. Oh, I'm not doing this to bust you out because God cares about it. He really want me to just tell you because you're out of order. Yeah. And then you're messing it up because we're supposed to be on one accord here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got us all. But God is showing us. When you are called to deliver the word of God, everybody who is called has the spirit of discernment. Mm -hmm. Sometimes God gives vision. Sometimes he gives smell, the empathic gift. There's all sorts of different gifts that we walk in. 
But guess what? God is not going to leave the one that he called and to govern the body in the dark. Right? That's not what he's going to do because he's, you're leading the people. You're leading the flock. And God wants us to get in this place where we have our eyes on him. And not what's behind us. Not what's on the side of us. But our eyes. Look into the hills from where our strength comes from. Our strength mm. comes from the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. We're not super Christians. Right. I don't, let's tell you the truth. We all fall short of His glory. Yes, right. Each one of y'all who think that you don't, please stop it. Because you're doing a disadvantage to yourself and the people around you. Because the people around you are watching whether they say something or not. They're paying attention. And if you tell the truth, I, 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 I've gained more souls to the Lord by telling the truth of where I messed up at. Because they appreciated that I could be truthful and honest enough to know. And guess what? The stuff that I went through wasn't an accident. God, there's no coincidences in God. He knows your beginning. He knows the ending before your beginning. That's it. We, 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 we got to understand and, and really meditate. Romans 8, 29 and 30 says, For those whom he foreknew and loved and chose before, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son and ultimately share in his complete sanctification so that he would be firstborn, the most beloved and honored, among many believers and though he those who he predestined. How many of you in here you know that you predestined? I want you to tell the truth. Do you know? Oh, I don't see no hands. Y'all confused? Oh, oh Lord. Jesus. All right. Lord, wake them up, Jesus. All right. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said, those who are predestined to be uh Y'all made me lose my place. Take your time, take your time. Listen, those who he predestined, he also called. How many of you know that you are called? Yeah. For many are called, but few are chosen. And those who he called, he also justified. Declared free of guilt and sin. And those whom he justified, he also glorified, raising them to a heavenly dignity. That means that you don't need the justification of man. Come on. If God said it, it's so. Amen. You say I'm fat, who's who? Who are you? God can say I'm fat. I just might be big folks. But <laughs> Now too skinny, too fat. Who's who knows? But just like the kids, all these things, planting seeds are real. Who told you that you weren't good enough? Who told you that you weren't smart enough? Who told you that you couldn't make it? Who told you that you had to be over here when I said I had a seat for you over here? Who told you to be last? Or who told you to be first? Because the first yeah, yeah. shall be last and the last shall be first. So at the end of the day, you really should not be racing because the race is not given to the swift nor the battle. But the one who endures. Jacob sold his soul for a bowl of soup. What? Right. How many people do we know selling their souls for what? Come on. For a temporary fix. Come on. Yes. Come on. For a temporary fix and then what? Right. You selling your soul to make yourself look good. People getting into relationships for the titles. What right. is the title? The title Word. is love. Oh. That is not interested in your title. You ain't doing the work. It's work. We got to understand that because Ephesians 2 and 10 says, for we are his workmanship, his yes. own masterpiece. Yes. Right here we have yes. a masterpiece. Each and every one of you in this room have a master, or a masterpiece. And your children, your finances, yes. everything you are and everything you are not is in God and God in you. You got to understand that nothing, man can't do nothing to you that God don't allow. Yes. I had to tell him this morning about Job. I was like, listen, Job was faithful, but his kids was acting up and God took his kids. Sure did. Awesome. His kids was in there cutting up. How many of our kids is cutting up and you're afraid to tell your kids they're cutting up? Well, How many of us know the story about the man who had the two sons and because he didn't tell them what God told him to tell them, both his sons got killed and then he fell and broke his neck? How many of us, how many of us have something that God has given us to say to someone and because of who they are, because of their posture, because of how they look, because they come to you and they got all the scriptures down pat, but oh, God searches because he said you say you love me but your hearts are far from me yes, yes. so at the end of the day you can say things out your mouth but what is your reflection because God's character should be something that you want to hold on to we may be the only Jesus that somebody
nobody really that see. Part. In that the part. parking lot. That part. On the phone. Amen. Yes, Amen. yes. The hairdresser. All right. Not just the church. Mm -hmm. It looks yes. real good on Sunday and Wednesday and Tuesdays and Fridays, worship service. But what you look like if I come peeking in your closet come or on. just knock on your door just come on, on any given day, what will I see? And guess what? I can't judge you, but bless it be God. Amen. Bless it be God. It. Because on. at the end of the day, we have to understand that we're pulled out of darkness into his marvelous yeah. light. But if we want to keep going back to the darkness, what happens? Our souls rot. Yeah. But when we lean on God and not our own understanding, mm -hmm. do you guys know that you have an invincible army? Yeah. Habakkuk 319 yeah. says, the Lord is my strength, my source of courage, my invincible army. He has my feet steady and sure like hinds feet and makes me walk forward with spiritual confidence yes, on yes. the high places of challenge and responsibility. What that tells me is to whom much is given, to whom much is going to cry. That's it. That's it. But if your mind is not in a place to receive mm, that, that and I'm, I'm saying all this because you have someone who has went through the trenches. So when she's talking to you, don't get upset because I'm going to be honest. I'm one she talks to from time to time. I'm like, oh, listen, oh, my God. You're talking to me. Like talking to you, and e, you hear me talking to you, and I'm like, Lord, this is because what, what we have to understand is sometimes when we're close to somebody, or if it's a family member, or if it's somebody that we know, we're like, oh, here they go again. Yep. Oh, Lord, is she going over your business? <laughs> and what I am so happy about is that I'm glad that somebody can check me mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. I'm glad that somebody takes the time. Because as I pour out, and I told her this the other day, when I come, I'm coming to be poured into. I don't just, I'm not just coming here just to show up because it really ain't about us. God did not create us just to be cute. When he formed us in our mother's womb, he wasn't like, you know, for all of for individuals, just like when they cut my face up. What were you thinking about? Jealousy. Jealousy is crueler uh -huh. than the grave. Yes, we is. understand that love is as strong as death. Yes. Nothing can quench it. But when we're dealing with an individual that is trying to do better and wants to fill us up and help us, we rebel against him. Because our flesh inside, our flesh is real. I do it to her from time to time. I've gotten much better. I do it to my mother from time to time. I get much better. But I, now that I deal with my own block, I'm right. like, is this your <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Lord, real life is so, girl. Give me. I was like, yeah, she got that lying spirit over there, Lord. And she got this over here, Lord. And she be making up stuff for she got the fantasy spirit, Lord. The delusional spirit, Lord. What is going on, God? And God is like, okay, let's talk the merciful for they obtain mercy because I was once patient with you. Yeah, yeah. you got to yeah. Yeah. So as you walk in ministry, because this is what I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna say it's not to offend nobody, but she shouldn't have to be up here every Sunday. Mm. Who can she trust to deliver the word? If she walks away and takes a vacation, can she trust that you're going to bring it the way that God wants it to be brought for the body? That's good. Not Lord. just how it looks on the outside, but on the inside, because the breaking happens on the inside. And if you're not willing to be broke on the inside, you ain't ready. That's right. And that's what I tell my people every day. You not ready. I'm sorry. You think I'm being mean? No, look. Well, you kind of hard on us. <laughs> Listen, I don't know what you, you feel. Like, I'm younger than you. What you mean? Now, come on. Right. God, I need you to get it. Come on, Jesus. Get me. Lord, let me be decent in an order. I don't want to disrespect my elders. But, Father God, come on now. Because the, 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 the Age. And then you got the individuals, you got the stiff neck Christians in the formality you got. And I grew up in the different churches and they sit in there. They got about a thousand dollars worth of mints in their pocket in their purse. <laughs> <laughs> Says, no, I am the author 
and the finisher of your faith. Amen. That's it. So when she's preaching and teaching, and I'm not saying that y'all sleep, but what I am Some saying, but what, I, but what I am saying is, I don't think I know. and I'm going to say this and I mean it from a place of love. Because if you're sitting in the church and you're sitting in the pews, are you taking notes? Do you go back, since I was a little girl, and I'm going to keep it all the way real with you, being in church all your life is something that you just, you know, formality, right? That's, that's it. <laughs> and uh, we had them, what them things called? The, the, uh, it got everything in it, like from the time the program. it started, the program, Lord have mercy. And I used to be coloring on that thing. My grandmother was like, look, you didn't write nothing down. And I was like, look, <laughs> you know, I was a little bored. We've been here 10 hours. <laughs> All right, so without a program, because you can't put a time on God, right? That's right. That's right. You, you can't put a time on God, but what I, what I want to say is that, is that it's not just about what prophet is, pastor, whatever y'all want to call her. She's my big cousin. Okay? She's a spiritual mother to me, and I praise God for her. And I ain't going to say it in front of my mother because I dealt with it for a while. Being that they're so close and our, we're family, and I have a mother, we got to be careful that we don't want to think. So as I'm dealing with her, I was like, oh my gosh, well, I have a mother, but she's like a spiritual mother. And when I had to, I had to go to my mom and tell her, mom, so Lisa's my spiritual mother. She's like, mm -hmm. praise God. <laughs> but, but, the thing that she, but the thing that she did was because she knew it was God sent. That's it. God right. ordained. So she received right. it. Amen. And she knew that she, and then she started telling me stories. Yeah, she left you when you was a baby. And her and Kim, and I was like, oh, Lord, I didn't know I was going to open up that box and, and all this and all that. I was looking for something else, Lord. However, they didn't even want to leave her with me. You shut, what, what you want to do with my baby? <laughs> but baby sent her. When we know that God is in the midst. Yes, Lord. We can trust our spirits with someone. Amen. That's so Lord. when you see yes, her have yes. an attitude, don't go, she tripping. She ain't no real pastor. Uh, she got an attitude. Oh, She's uh, saying she holy and she over here acting like this because guess what? She gonna have an attitude sometimes. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, because the Bible says she's natural first, That's then right. spiritual. Right. So human frailty is real. Yeah. That natural yeah. thing is gonna yeah. rise up in her. You yeah. might get your yeah. head, you know, you know who she is. Okay, yeah. I'll deal with her. Okay. Yeah. However, in your spirit, let your spirit be moved and understand that God deals with her just like He deals with you. Yeah. You have struggles, she has struggles. You have vices, she has vices. But are you praying for it? Because see, Amen. some individuals yeah. are praying on you, P-R-E-Y, mm -hmm. instead of praying for you, P-A-R-Y. Right. And that thing is dangerous. Everybody that say they're praying for you ain't praying for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Absolutely. <laughs> okay? Sometimes, and they be like, I'm praying for you, okay? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> but I want us to really understand Jude 24 25 says now unto him who is able to keep us from stumbling and falling yes. into oh, sin yes, and to present yourself unblameless unblemished faultless in the presence of his glory with triumph joy and unspeakable delight to the only God our Savior through wow. Jesus Christ be glory majesty dominion and power before all time and now and forever Amen. see I want us all to know something they don't know your name they think they know you because I got a bunch of people that say, hey, I know Asa. No, you do not. Ooh, I, ooh, ooh, ooh. Right. You know me from an attachment. You know me ooh, from my dad, yeah. maybe. Because a lot of people, oh, that's Sherman's daughter. My name is Isa. Oh, that's Jazzy's daughter. My name is Isa. Oh, that's Jamal, ooh. baby mama. My name is Isa. Right. Oh, that's the one that did this and that's the one that did that. Come do on, they not put on you? Yes, yes, yes. A name that God never gave you? Yes. Come mom. Yes. A name that God never intended for you to have, and then you took that thing and start wearing it. And also be careful with nicknames. Come on. Because that thing matters. Kill, kill. Okay? <laughs> I mean, come on. Yes, that's true. 
Seriously, I got some other names, but I ain't gonna go there. Right. And I'm gonna keep it real. I'm trying to keep it simple over here. But I'm gonna be honest with you. We hurt our families. Names have meaning. Yes, Everybody's yes. name in here, maybe not your first name, maybe not your last name. I don't know if you might not be able to Google it. But if you look in the word of God, your name has a meaning because God says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You were made in the likeness and image of him. So that means you have a purpose. Yes. That means you have a calling. Yes. That means you have a meaning. Yes. That means you're not just you're not just existing. Right. See, we want to live, not just exist. Right. Yes. Because God says he gave his only begotten son so we can have life and have it more abundantly. That's what he says. Yes. But do we even know what abundance is? Mm -hmm. Because we stuck in our old ways. Mm -hmm. So when you have someone up here ministering to you, pouring out to you, because when I come sometimes, I'm angry. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I come sometimes, and, I, and Lisa can see it because she's like, Lisa, I need you to fix your face. And sometimes she'll be up here, like where I'm at, and she'll look at me and go, and I'm yeah. like, okay. <laughs> and I'm really not serious and why is because I know she's pouring her heart out and we want a word all the time I'm not just talking about a prophetic word we want a word well can you tell me something well how about you go spend some time with God so he can tell you something how about you allow yourself to you with them you think just because you on YouTube and what's the Twitters and the TikToks and the, I don't know cameras ain't wrong. Right. Ooh, well, well. What about well. when ain't nobody else looking? Because as we know, God's eyes are upon the earth. Yes, yes. Lord. Yes. And so yes. when you how about when you lights camera action off? Right. Jesus. How about you lay prostate before God? Jesus. And say, Lord, here I am. Mm -hmm. Nakedly. Here I am. Mm -hmm. That's right. God tells me his most Hallelujah. beautiful secrets in the shower. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I'm like, oh God, wow. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie now. When the Spirit of the Lord, you know, yeah. you could be touched, you could be in prayer, and somebody touch you, but when you pass out in your shower, right. one day my mom was like, "It's are you okay?" I was in there yeah, having yeah, yeah. a yeah. real encounter with God, uh -huh. and I couldn't move. I got to try right. to get up, and I was falling and stumbling. Like, like Lord Jesus, Jesus. Oh, and I was so high. high. I was like, "My God, are you kidding me?" That's it. That's it. Knocked me out. And I'm trying to, and, and some handicap bars in there, and that didn't even help me. So I was like, oh, I could be handicapped right now. I can be at my weakest right now because God says what? It's okay to be weak. I was having a conversation with somebody. I said, it's okay to be weak. It does say in the Bible. I said, actually, it does. It says, you know, when Apostle Paul was having a conversation, he said, well, the Lord sent him, the Lord told him, I sent a spirit of Satan to buffet you, to torment you. So everything that's happening to you, don't think that it's just bad. God does that thing because you don't get beside yourself. You have to remind you that you get beside yourself. Bring yourself down enough for God if I am made strong in your weakness. Yes, so go ahead yes, and be weak. Because yes, you need me. Yes, but sometimes yes, we get so absolutely. caught in ourselves. Yes, Lord. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. All right. right. Go ahead and close us with this one. Mm, this is good. Amen. Romans 8, 38 through 39. I really need us to understand this. Okay? Hate is a, is a bad thing. Yes. And we are harboring a lot of ill will. Things that happened when we were younger. All right. Things that happened in our teenage years. Even now. Mm -hmm. And we blaming everybody. Yep. We blaming them. But no, yep. how about, no, it's not their fault. Mm -hmm. How about you went through it and God wanted to use it, but you didn't see it the way mm -hmm. he wanted you to see it. Because mm -hmm. see, our perspective is different from his perspective. Mm -hmm. Hate the sin, not the person. Yes, Lord. Because see, God doesn't hate anyone. He hates the sin. The sin. And see, when we harbor sin, I need y'all to get this. It causes sickness, yeah. disease, mm -hmm. mentally, yeah. physically, emotionally, yeah. financially, yeah. spiritually. Yes. All those things are impacted. Yes. Heart attacks is heartbreak. If you do some real research, that's that's heartbreak. Heart attacks, congestive heart failure, that's heartbreak. You need to do some research. I had two individuals that I love dearly that got congestive heart failure at the same time. It made me research biblically and naturally. And I was like, boy, you're going to help me figure out we're going to come against this. But they were killing themselves. Right. Yes. Come on. Because see, so a man thinketh, so is he. We need to understand that. And we really need to understand our life. 
Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. And all thy ways acknowledge him. That's Seek it. ye first the kingdom of heaven, That's and all it. these things will be added unto you. Right. But do you include God? Even if you don't want to include him, the outcome will be much better. Yes, Lord. Right. So I put this in the scripture. Romans 8, 38, 39. For I am convinced and continue to be convinced beyond any doubt that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present and threatening, not, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the yes, unlimited Lord, love you, which is in Christ Jesus. Thank you. So I want y'all to understand, y'all may not really understand who Miss Lisa Renee is to the fullest. But I ask that you challenge yourself and ask God to show you who she is. And Lord, why am I in her ministry? What have you called me to do? Come on. How can I actually help the ministry grow? What can I do? Am I an evangelist? Am I a prophet? Am I an apostle? Am I a pastor? Am I a teacher? Am I a deacon? Am I an usher? Am I a worship leader? The Spirit of the Lord says we are to worship Him in spirit and in truth. So whether or not you have a song playing, the melody is within you. Because it's spirit and truth. God is your base. God is your tool. God is your melody. He is your high note. He is your low note. He is your piano. He is your keyboard. It shouldn't take somebody to turn it up. I don't need to look at you. I don't need to pay attention to you. I'm God. I am worshiping God. My vision is here. Yes, Lord. If you fall on you. But Father God, in the name of Jesus, here I am to worship you. Yes. Yes. I bow before you. The King. The King of kings and the Lord of lords. So I just want to praise God on today. I ask that you continue to lift her up. I am blessed and I am privileged to be standing here today to minister on behalf of God's people. And I pray that your souls are permeated with the love of God because he has met you here today. Yes. The presence of the Lord is here. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Make the choice and take it. Take it. Yes. Yes. is that God is always on time. Yeah. And, the, and the, the, the absolute mind blowing thing is that everything that God has been sharing with me to share with y'all, she just came in here and did a repeat. Yeah. Yeah. She confirmed yeah. everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. everything. She confirmed yeah. her. Yeah. Yeah. Walk together unless yes, they yes. agree. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. So what do that say hmm. to us that's sitting in the seat? What am I missing? Where did I miss the mark? What have I not been doing that God been showing me, tugging me, and pulling on me to do? Am I still Holding on to uh, jealousy? Mama. Am I still trying to override and, 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 and manipulate and control everything and everybody around me? You know, something I was watching last night, it really blessed my spirit because I had a problem with surrendering. I had a problem with submitting myself. Huh? And I grew up and you know we, we we have some folks of domestic violence and all kinds of stuff that was normal but i had made up in my mind that i would never let a man put his hands on me come on i'd be going to jail right or he'd be leaving up out of there in a body bag come on one or the other okay and when i got married the holy spirit kept telling me you got to surrender to that man. Come on, Jesus. Jesus? But only if we were equally yoked. Right. We were not equally yoked yet. And I told the Lord, you better fix him. He said, ah, uh -uh. you fix you first. Come on, come on, come on. See, we so concerned with fixing everybody else right. that we can't fix us. Yeah. And God is doing a straight down the middle split. 
the sheep and the goats. Mm. We going into 2021, there will be no blurred lines. Mm. You gonna know who's dark and you gonna know who's light. Jesus, I said. He gave me a word a few months back and he showed me. He said, they are those that walk in light are gonna walk outside, be at the grocery store, and be able to witness manifestations of demons and identify them. Can you imagine you in the grocery store? You look over somebody's face more than yes. a demon's yes. face. Yes. Cause it's coming, baby. It's already here. Yeah, yeah it is. Already here. Here. Absolutely. It's already here. Yes. Absolutely. But the Lord has been trying to get his infants, his teenage children in the Lord to raise up. To stop being so selfish. To stop thinking it's me, 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 me. So this woman last night shared her testimony that she was afraid to surrender to her husband <clears throat> and she went into marriage with a rebellious spirit Jeez. I'm not surrendering mm. see how can two walk together there's some of y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. that came into partnership with Sovereign Shepherd and you have a rebellious spirit Jesus, mm -hmm. Jesus. and you want to keep doing it the way you've been doing it and God is saying, until you surrender, you will not see the fruit that I have for you. Right. You're going to see little sprouts here and there, but you're not going to fully be walking in Help what he has for Help you. Yes. Help me, Jesus. Help, Help see, me. I go home and I have joy. I have peace. I have happiness. Yeah, maybe all the bills ain't paid, whatever. I don't care. That's not where my joy comes Come from. That's coming from the yeah. Lord. So we got to start understanding what she said. Yeah, we can get up here and act like we love God on Sunday Jesus. and on Bible study and on end time, noon time. But are you really seeking him? Yes. I want to come up for a word. I want to get a word. I want to get touched. You didn't even do the last one. One touch. From God will change your yes, life. Yes, Father God. Yes, Amen. Yes. One Amen. touch. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. We're going to get ready to have altar. Thank you, Lord. And I'm being led to have altar. I'm going to invite Issa and uh, Pastor Stephanie. And I'm going to invite Toya. Amen. Amen. And I want y'all to understand that there is a new season and God is not on the Gregorian calendar he is on the Jewish calendar Amen. and we Amen. just came Amen. through the, the, the feast and all these other things huh and guess what he is letting us know you better get it together because there's about to be a shift that's going to happen so quick that you listen listen when he told the children of Israel to leave the land where you used to plant your garden to go into a land where everything you see will belong to you come on yeah yeah it's a lot of folks that look like they've been well taken care of but they dark Jesus they living in darkness and God is getting ready to make a spiritual transfer. Oh, and we so busy trying to, well, I got to work three jobs. I got to go into overtime. Listen, you need to get on your knees. Come on. Come on. You need to sit down for Come a minute. On. And you need to ask God to teach you how to trust him. Yes, because what he going to do is he going to start giving you supernatural deposits. Amen. He going to start sending folks to start being a blessing to you. He going to have somebody just pop up and say, the Lord led me to bless you with this $500. The Come Lord on, told me to pay your fee. Yes. The Lord yes. said I needed to help you out and take care of next month's car payment. On, but I, I need you to understand he is a provider. Yes. 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 And he's looking for somebody with a radical faith. And a radical trust. Not let me do it. As soon as you sit back, how do I quit a job where I was secured? And I ain't got a need for nothing. Come on. How do that? Now I'm taking care of his business. Full time. Amen? Amen. Who need prayer this afternoon? 
that is here. Oh, Jesus. where their needs are. Lord, there are still many that are struggling. Father, they don't understand that sometimes you allow things to happen. You allow the storms to hit. You allow the nudges. You allow interruptions and pain, shortcomings, because we need to surrender. Father, I lift up the Bonacci family. Lord, I pray that you will put a, a, a shield around each one of their family members, from the patriarch of that family to the, to the youngest. Lord, I declare and decree that the blood of the Lamb of Jesus is over the doorpost. But Father, the, the, the residents of that address, let them go into a supernatural, spiritual cleaning of house. Yes. Let them get the house back in order. Yes. That Satan has no access, no legalistic rights to come knocking at their door. Lord, I declare and decree that your perfect will will be done. Touch my beloved sister Christine. Give her supernatural endurance. Give her eyes to see and ears to hear. And allow her to walk in what you have called her to walk in. Raise up her daughters. Raise up her son. Raise up her husband. We bless you and we honor you. Father, we thank you for everything that's done in the dark will be openly rewarded. I declare and decree a ship in that house. In Jesus' mighty name. I want to lift up my beloved sister Tanya. And I want to lift up uh, Lulu and all, all the others, uh, Miss Unique, uh, that are not here today, Lord. Father, you know how the enemy tries to slither in. Father, let them be reminded to not grow weary and well doing but to stay focused yeah. to stay connected to the true living vine father we honor you and we thank you for everything that you are doing in this season we give you the glory the honor and the praise in jesus mighty name amen amen and amen <laughs> online folks you guys have a beautiful blessed day i love y'all Continue to keep us in prayer and thank you all for the well wishes and the, and the birthday love. And I will see y'all on end time, noon time. Bye. God bless y'all. Amen. Amen.